Hello everyone, I'm Anna Harps and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be reviewing Love and Marriage Huntsville and this is season 4, it's episode 9 and it's aired on OWN TV. So, if you remember last week ended with um, Tisha pulling up in the parking lot at her and Marceau's cigar bar to confront him about whether or not he's been cheating. See, Tisha's mother, Miss Wanda, has her all hyped because um, she had spoken with Marceau and asked Marceau if there was any truth to him being in Atlanta and in a hotel. And there was a picture that had surfaced on the internet of a man with a back and it was allegedly supposed to have been Marceau. So anyway, Tisha pulls up in the parking lot at the Black Cigar Lounge and she calls um, Marceau on the phone and she's like, hey Marceau, you know, can you come out into the parking lot? I need to holler at you. So anyway, Marceau goes out to the parking lot and you know, Tisha's really upset as she usually is and um, she confronts Marceau as to did he admit to his mother in law her mother that he was in Atlanta with someone so anyway he told her you know Tisha yes I was in Atlanta and yes I was with someone I was in Atlanta with Chris and we had um, lunch and he said that there's nothing to it and um, there's nothing to the rumors so anyway, they cried it out because Tisha was like really upset. And this is the first time that I've ever seen Marceau show Tisha any type of attention or affection. But anyway, you know, they agreed that they were just going to let the haters hate. And, um, you know, they're going to be ten toes down in their marriage and um, just not pay attention to what's going on online. So right now... Marcel and Tisha, they're looking pretty solid to me. So anyway, next Martel meets up with uh, Maurice at his office. And uh, Maurice informs him that they're having a housewarming party for his stepson, Jalen, and that he wasn't invited because he brings too much drama with him and that his ex-wife was invited. And, you know, every time the two of them get together, it's always, you know, a loud, explosive argument. So Maurice just let Martel know that he was not invited. You know, because he just loves the clown melody at every event that they both attend together. So, they could have really, you know, just kept that scene. Uh, because they had discussed it last episode over the phone that, you know, he wasn't invited. So, anyway, as a side note, have you guys ever looked at Martel and Maurice's heads? Their heads are shaped like bald almonds it comes to their heads come to a point and I was like looking at them really closely these guys need to have some type of you know work life balance because they are not aging well they have like furrows all in their forehead but anyway that's a side note that I took in so next Tiffany and Destiny meet up with the kids um, they're at a child spot and uh, Tiffany she's looking frumpy and Destiny she's looking beautiful as usual but anyway they talk about Melody and Destiny's uh, relationship and Tiffany asks Destiny did she think that she would be able to repair the relationship with Melody and Tiffany said no Destiny said no I'm sorry and so now Kimmy and Maurice are throwing a housewarming party for Jalen. Jalen is Kimmy's son. He just recently graduated from college and um, Maurice gave him, no, I'm sorry, Marceau gave him a general manager position at his cigar bar black. So anyway, he's purchased a home and his mom is throwing a housewarming party for him. But this is the thing. No one at the housewarming party were any of his friends. It was the whole cast of Love and Marriage Huntsville. So anyway, Destiny arrives first. 
and she has concerns about as she should because you know last week Kimmy held a Galentine's Day gala and she got into it with Mel's friend uh, Stormy so she just really wasn't you know in the mood for that to take place tonight so anyway she said you don't bring oil Excuse me, my sinuses have been acting up all day. I, I took some sinus medication, but the show must go on. So anyway, uh, Mel and Stormy and Stormy's husband arrived at the housewarming party. And Destiny's already there because she arrived first. And, you know, they didn't speak to Destiny. So Kimmy decided that she wanted to have a powwow with um, Destiny and Stormy. And I'm like, do you actually think that that's a good idea? It wasn't a good idea to even invite the two women to the housewarmer party. You know, being that, you know, there was bad blood there and that hadn't been resolved. So I wouldn't have wanted that, you know, in my house. But anyway, the powwow went from one to ten real quick. Anyway, next, Tisha and uh, Marceau arrive. Um, Melody's already there. Tisha doesn't speak to Melody. So everybody's just like, you know, kind of sitting around. The housewarming party is basically a snooze fest, if you ask me. I mean, there, there were a couple of guys in the corner, you know, playing maybe some basic spades or whatever. And then everybody else was just kind of sitting around, you know, on their cell phone and, you know, not speaking to each other. So we go back into the bedroom where Destiny and Stormy and uh, Kimmy are supposed to be having a powwow. And Destiny, you know, she was being real with uh, Stormy. She was just trying to talk to her and she called her, she's sweetie. And, you know, Stormy took offense to that and she immediately, I'm not just waiting. So anyway, Destiny was like, look, I don't have time for this. And Destiny got up and she walked out. Okay, so this is the thing. Stormy is all on social media, you know, telling people, you know, what a nice person she is. But the thing about it is, is I see the same person on social media that I see on the show. So Stormy is exactly what you see on the show. She's trying to convince us that, um, you know, Destiny just like took her to an unfamiliar place. And that's the reason why, you know, she popped off at the Galentine's Day party. But then again, here we are today and you're popping off again when you're supposed to be having a civilized conversation with Tiffany. So you're not fooling me. I see you, Stormy, for exactly who you are. So, and, and that's confrontational. Yep. That's the right adjective for her confrontation. No. So anyway, we're back in the living room. No one's speaking to each other. And then in walks Miss Wanda. That's uh, Tisha's mother. And uh, her son-in-law was like, uh-oh, you know, let the party begin. Because you know, wherever Miss Wanda goes, drama's shortly going to follow. So she comes in and she heads straight for the brown liquor. So you already knew there was going to be something forthcoming from Miss Wanda. So anyway, her son-in-law was like, welcome to Crazy Town. So Miss Wanda said that she was there and she wanted to address all the girls about talking about her baby, Tisha. Now her baby, Tisha, is married with three children and she's been married for 15 years. But Miss Wanda just always has to butt into Tisha's business. So anyway, Tisha told her mom, you know, settle down. I already have, you know, this handled. But uh, Miss Wanda wanted to insist on having a conversation with all the ladies as to why they were talking about her baby, Tisha, at um, Kimmy's Galentine's Gala Melee. That's what I call it. So anyway... Tisha just straight up said, look, everybody, I'm sorry, you know, I can't control my mother. She's a grown woman. Okay, so, Miss Wanda needs to pipe down because one of these days, Miss Wanda is going to meet the right person on the wrong day and they are going to shut her down because Miss Wanda has a slick mouth, okay? So, anyway, as I said, okay. There's other people on the show that had um, came to the housewarming party, which is uh, Tiffany and her husband, Louis. But um, 
they really didn't bring much to this episode. And Tiffany and Lewis are basically just a snooze fest. They really don't have a storyline. The only storyline that they have forthcoming is that Tiffany asked Mel to go to Utah with her so that she could meet her biological father for the first time. And, I mean, I think that that's just really ridiculous. I mean, because they've only been friends for one year. Melody does not know your father and... Why would you take Melody to Utah with you? You don't have any other friends? So anyway, this is the thing. Where is the show going? Okay, so what have they given us so far? They've given us, okay, Tisha and Mel, they're into it. Okay, so they decided to come on national TV and, you know, air out their dirty laundry within, you know, their marriages. So, okay, so you've shown us that Mel and Tisha are, um, you know, not friends anymore. So let us see some salad throwing or something, okay? Now, Stormy and Destiny are into it. The producers keep pulling them apart. I want to see that WWF Smackdown, Carlos King, okay? So, Miss Wanda and her niece, Kiki are into it. Now, Miss Wanda is on Instagram talking mad noise about Kiki. So, I want to see Miss Wanda bring, keep that same energy and uh, bring that to Kiki's face on the show. So, I want to see Kiki shut her down. Somebody needs to shut Miss Wanda down. Okay, so Miss Melody, she doesn't want her ex husband's baby's mother on the show okay bring her on the show we want to see her okay you've gotten your digs you've made two music videos about side chicks you know you're talking about her so let, let's bring her on the show so we can see her okay so now anyways we want to be entertained okay that's why we watch the show we're here for the mess Okay, so I need for you guys to, you know, bring it up a notch, okay? Because I'm messy like that. I'm on the hearts. If you like this video, please hit that like button down below, comment, subscribe, even share my video. On the hearts, I gotta go. See ya.